Hi, I'm Hoan from Cosmopolitan Pet Boutique and Spa, and I'm here to tell you about some of the tools you'll need for grooming your pet at home. So the type of tool you'll need depends on the type of coat your pet has. Whether your pet has short hair, medium hair, long hair, curly coat, double coat, single coat. So those are all important things to think about when you're choosing your tool. So my favorite brush is the Slicker. It's almost a universal brush. It's got wire that's slightly bent and it's really good for most coat types. So here's a slicker. Another tool is a rake. It's good for brushing, it's good for taking out some matting, and it's good for de-shedding as well. This is really great for your retriever types, think, uh, dogs with sort of medium long coats with an undercoat. There, is, uh, there are various brands of de-shedding blades. So this one's got a pretty sharp blade on it, but it takes out quite a bit of undercoat. So this is great for short hair or medium hair pets that have two layers of coats. Here is a rubber brush, also called a curry brush. And this is great for removing loose coat on a short haired dog or cat. And if you have a pet that's got medium or long hair, it's always good to have a fine tooth comb. This is really great for taking out knots, combing around the face, the ears, sensitive areas. You've got a bit more control with a comb. Okay, so now for the ears. You'll want to have a good ear cleaning solution. And also some really basic things to go with this are cotton pads, or even baby wipes because it's nice and soft it goes in the ears which are sensitive so you can use these that helps clean the ear wax if you have a dog with really furry ears like um, like bichons or mini schnauzers cocker spaniels you'll need to pluck the inside of the ears because they have a lot of hair that grow in there so you can use a powder, an ear powder inside, and that helps you remove the, the fur inside the ear canal. Or if you're not comfortable, you can let a professional groomer take care of that part. Okay. Now, you'll want to take care of your dog or cat's teeth. It's a little bit easier with a dog. So you can use a finger brush you just put your finger inside and it's got a little uh, section with a bristle and you can use this to massage and brush in toothpaste. If you have a bigger dog, you can use an actual toothbrush with a soft bristle. And make sure that the toothpaste you use is specifically for a dog or a cat. So um, it, is, it is edible because pets will swallow toothpaste. So you, you have to make sure it's for a pet and not a human. And the final thing is um, nail clippers. So you want to have a proper nail clipper for your dog or cat. Obviously for cats and small dogs, you can use something smaller. This one is for a medium sized dog. So there's a nail clipper. And what I recommend is some sort of styptic powder. So that's for instances where you clip the nails too short and it bleeds because there's a nerve inside the nail. If you clip it too short and it bleeds, you just put some of this powder on, on the spot that you've clipped and it stops the bleeding instantly because mistakes happen. So that's everything and I hope you find this helpful in uh, grooming your pet at home.